What's up guys, John Sims here, ready to teach you guys my most three important ways in thinking about creating profit early on in FIFA 21. So going up into FIFA 21, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking into some training exercises that we can pr provide for you guys. Now, uh, if you guys want full coverage, we do have a pr uh, Patreon. Uh, we're only charging $5 to, um, uh, f to enter and no initiation fee up until October 1st. Now we're offering everything for $5. So if you're interested in professional trading, actual private coaching and tutoring, make sure you guys drop a uh, drop by and check that out. And this content's free for you and you guys like this content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then comment comment uh, what you guys believe if, if you've been making coins from us or if you haven't been making coins and then we can uh, I'll try to talk to you guys more about uh, how we can try to get you to that next step okay now we're going to be talking to you guys about the three basic trade styles we have no risk trading which is by far the most effective which I have been using for the longest amount of time I've done a lot of trading styles and that is my favorite however it is it can be a little bit more advanced for some of you traders out there uh, to maximize and consistently see the value that you're looking for compared to the output that you put in going forward we also have the silver trading method in the bronze so really you just have a bronze the silver and the gold uh, they're all no risk uh, does not every single time you buy a player you're gonna profit from doing these few steps so the first one but basically you buy a bronze pack for 400 coins and then you actually flip it and you sell it for the minimum that you can possibly sell we actually that we've only made one bronze pack purchases and we've sold uh we sold four of the five players that we had one was a premier league player and we ended up selling for 1400 so you know it's it's it can be beneficial but however the downside to the bronze pack method is that it takes a lot of time 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 you may be able to get a hundred of these we've pushed these on the market three or four times uh you know, typically your pack fillers aren't going to sell, so you throw those in the club and you just pretty much push this, the bronzes. So that's one way to make profit coming into FIFA 21 is using the bronze pack method. Uh, some of these tactics are done by professionals to initiate profit. Once you initiate profit, you can move on to, to wow. small risk investments that's around 10 to 20,000 coins that you see on fluctuation in the market so that is the first one that is bronze now what I'm going to show you guys next is silver trading I don't really like silver trading but the thing about it is it can be very effective so the idea is that you go into a silver rare and you can go in and you buy these guys up for like 250 coins you just want to be flipping them for more than what you're buying them for. So with the 5% tax, one, it's going to lock us out because we just started this account. But basically, you want to finish the initial uh, SBCs to get you open access to all of these. But essentially, there's going to be packs where you're going to be searching for. They, they specifically need silvers. And so those silvers can go up in demand. And so essentially, you just find those silvers that are low in the market. Uh, and when I say low, I mean low saturation. And when I talk about low saturation, I mean just there's not very many of them in the market. Uh, and that's, that's essentially the, the ability to make profit is just finding players. Like you see how now there's a bid on this guy for 250, which I believe is the minimum you can bid. And so, you know, we'll go ahead and throw one in for 250 on this guy. And you know, typically the the better the the better the league, the uh, the better the player, or the the more likely they're going to sell, uh, just due to demand. So that's the main thing with silvers, though. And the thing about silvers, here's the thing about bronze and silvers, they have about similar time turn uh, timetables. Uh, bronzes, you don't usually get a lot that are over one to two thousand coins in profit margin. But the thing about it is those guys don't usually typically sell very quickly. It can take some time. You just have to be – you just have to understand if you're going to be buying a silver player that's about 1,000 coins but his he's maxed out at 10K, you know, and you list him up for 9,000, the demand – you know, the, the demand may show positive – for that period of time but let's say you put him up for three hours and then next thing you know you can't relist that player and then there's 10 more players that have already been put in the market and you buy them for let's say 4,500 coins then his profit drops down to 5k and then you have to put him up for 5k it keeps dropping that's why I don't invest into that that's why I call low risk but it it 
it can be it can concur to high risk. The the bigger the profit margins, and you know the further away you are from their base value, the the more risky it is. But that is why I don't like to tr- trade silvers. But the thing about it is, if you find silvers that work for you, you can make a killing. So you really can make a ton of coins within silver market. But however, it, the market has to be in the right place. SBCs have to be in the right place. Uh, the saturation and it, it, everything has to be in order, really, with uh, the content through the silver market. But I stick away from that. My favorite is the no-risk trading. I've actually done full videos on this if you guys want to check out those. So you go gold commons, and you can go into 350. Actually, I believe the market might actually be fantastic. And see 350. So let's look and see how fast these guys are selling. So 400, 450, they're selling like hotcakes. Uh, so I like to say a 200 coin margin because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Look at that. They, you know, 400. It's just uh, you're gonna buy them for 300 and sell them for 650. It's nuts, man. It's nuts how many coins you can make right now doing this. So it looks like about 750 is probably where uh, the market de- uh, ends. And so you see how it's at 18 minutes. What I try to teach is I try to teach this. You come in, you buy for 300, and boom, you buy. Oh, whoop. Or 350. Let's just go ahead and buy for 350 or so. But basically, you come in, you buy for 350. You, you, it might be a, ba- a bid battle just because the demand is very high right here. But essentially, you go in and you buy for 350, 400. It really doesn't matter right now. And then you sell them for 750. Within an hour, they're going to sell. Within an hour, they will sell. So you know, go go for 400 because it looks like they're not really getting picked up very easily. So actually, 300s are going to be probably hot targeted so we go 350 bidding at 400 looks like they're still bidding but this but this this one takes a little bit more work but however the consistency in the market is key to making coins the the main thing is once you find a card that really is selling you can really push this you can really push this and this is the no risk trade style guys um the market's a little bit different than it should be uh given the first week uh, I would I would suggest this gold common uh, is going to be the best uh, going forward within FIFA 21, given saturation, uh, and it's always proven to me the best. I have another video on it again. I liked I said that, uh, which was more static within the market. Right now, almost everything is selling like crazy, so it's re- the demand is really high because you can pretty much put these guys in SBCs and it's just stupid. So 750 coins is kind of where it's, it's, it's really selling. 700, you can sell something instantly for 700. I would say anything over 200 coins profit margin is very effective for you. So, you know, even like right now, it's been tough to get these guys in at 400 even right now so we're just gonna we're gonna try to bid in here a few of these at 400 but we went ahead and bid in a 400 450 uh Uh, here it is there's that one at 250 but we'll go ahead and bid in these guys and then we're gonna flip them really quick and so this is the idea boom 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 compare the price we're looking and actually let's say hot And it looks like he's actually selling for about 1,200 coins. So, you know, we just bought this guy for 450 coins or so. We bought for 450 coins, and we're going to list him on the market for 1,200. We're actually, since we're lazy, we're just going to put on 12 hours. Now, I don't suggest doing that. I just don't suggest doing that. Uh, it, it's just you want them, you want to put them on for an hour. And so it looks like this guy's coming in at around 850. So we'll probably push him in at seven 750 just to try to give that part uh, margin a little bit fast. Now you do remember that whenever you put a market, whenever you undercut a margin, when you ever undercut a market, you guys are always creating competition for yourself within that time period. So it looks like this guy's going for about exactly about the same. So you know, I'm just going to put him up for a thousand. Uh, just so we get some get some price moving on these guys, but that's that's the that that this is it, guys. This is this is what trading is. It's buy low, sell high. That is the essential. That is essentially what you're wanting to do in the end. And so we'll go ahead and put them at 800. We double our margins. So we went from 2,000 coins roughly to 
I think four thousand, and that's the thing about it is these small margin these small margins make a huge difference. They bring they bring you from small amount of coins and constantly create profit for you. Now I will go further into what I believe you should be doing um, after using these small margin profits. But that's the video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, guys, make sure you subscribe. Uh, comment if you have any questions. Like the video if you actually enjoyed this and this is going to be proof useful to you. And also, guys, be trading on the web app come FIFA 21 because the web app is going to be coming out early. So get used to it soon. That way you can get better, more efficient, um, and get to a million coins before FIFA 21 is. I think that's a pretty standard goal. And if you guys want that private tutoring and coaching sessions, make sure you guys come by, ask me questions, get into our Patreon, and then we'll be able to do, uh, keep you up to date with current news, current facts. We'll be able to uh, hand, I will personally join Discord chats with you. Uh, you'll, you can share your screen. I can teach you how you can trade for yourself and make it a little bit more efficient for you with hands-on help. So if that, if you like the video, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.